Hey everybody, Bob WP here, and welcome to Woo Bits, the end of the week recap here at the Do the Woo podcast. Well, it's been a busy week. I'm going to admit it was Woo Sesh going on Tuesday through Thursday, which was yesterday. And although I don't think I can even attempt to recap a lot of it in this episode of Wubits, there are some things that I feel are important to talk about and share. Of course, there's still opportunities for you to catch up on the sessions over the next week and our recaps, which I'll talk about more at the end. But first, I want to focus on State of the Woo. WooCommerce has traditionally shared their State of the Woo at Woo Sesh, which this year kicked off the event first thing Tuesday. Now, on the show notes, on the post, I'm sharing some screenshots I took during the event, and you may want to come in to the latest episode and look at those. But there's a couple things I want to share, and the first is numbers. Uh, These kind of numbers always encapsulate a lot of what the year has held in an easier way. And think about these. 4.4 million plus live websites currently use Woo. 33% of the top 1 million online stores are powered by Woo. 8.9% of the internet is powered by Woo. There's been 270 million plus Woo downloads to date. In the marketplace, you're going to now find 908 products. And what I love, 66 languages are supported by Woo. Now, during the state of the Woo, there was a lot covered. Trends in e-commerce, highlights of Woo over the past 12 months, Woo Express, the streamlining of the product experience, and store design and customizations. Think of this one fact. 12 months ago, it took 46 clicks to get into their product. And now it's 11. What I love about the State of the Woo each year is that all of us grind along during these 12 months, or, you know, around 12 months. We're enjoying everything that comes out, that's transpired over that time, But when you watch the State of the Woo, this just shows us how far along the team at Woo has progressed. And to be honest, I feel like it's really an eye-opener when it's all put together. So without diving into even more of not only State of the Woo, but all the amazing sessions that were presented, three days of them, if you missed any of them or all of them, don't hesitate to catch up. If you're registered already... And you don't know this, you have till next Friday to make sure and dive in to all the sessions even more. And if you're not registered and you are listening to this today, this is released Friday, October 13th, October 13th. It's not your unlucky day. It's your lucky day because you still have time to register till the end of today, Friday, October 13th. Of course, if you want to save these for later, you want to watch a previous Woo sessions that have gone on over the years and get a ton of education in both WooCommerce and WordPress, you can simply join WP Sessions. Brian has a ton of educational content there for you. Now, the other thing I want to talk about are the sessions. For the first time, Woo Sesh created a community award ceremony to recognize and celebrate the best of the best throughout the WooCommerce ecosystem. Now, from what I understand and what Brian shared during the event, there were a lot of nominations for all six categories. There were honorable mentions that he had chose, and then, of course, three finalists for each category. Now, I've included a screenshot of all the finalists and winners that he has on the site And it would take me quite a bit of time to go through all of them. So I would suggest you check that out or go to Woo Session. You'll see them there. But I'd like to say that the team at Do The Woo is absolutely honored here to have been voted by the community as a WooCommerce Community Advocate of the Year. 
Now, before I say anything more about that, I do want to congratulate the other winners. The Developer of the Year was James Kemp, Agency of the Year, Maximer, Extension of the Year, WooCommerce Product Options, Store of the Year, Barn 2, and Innovation of the Year, Simple Dose. Want to give them all a special Bob virtual hug and a virtual round of beer to each and every one of them, although I wish I could actually give them real beer. Now, what's interesting, I'd like to note, looking at these winners, James has been on our podcast several times, actually, so I'm going to be leaving links to some of those shows if you want to not only go to his site and learn more about James, but also to hear about his story. Now, same with Katie from Barn 2. I'll share those in the notes. In fact, Katie and her team won not only Store of the Year, but the WooCommerce product options extension is from them as well. So they won two awards. Well, now look at it this way. She recently joined us as a member of our hosting team here. So I'm going to safely say that Katie won three awards. And I'm going to stick to it. And last, of course, but not least, Agency of the Year, Maximer, Nils, the founder of Maximer, recently did a Woo Agency chat with Alex from Impside, who was also a finalist. Of course, you can come and listen to that chat between the two of them, but hey, it looks like we're all family here. And you can see how amazing this Woo community really is. Now, I know you're going to, please don't groan, but you know those acceptance speeches on movies and television and music award shows? I really have to share my personal thanks. So um, I hang in there. And I think this is important because the award is really all encompassing. I mean, there's a lot of reasons we won this award. It's not me sitting here talking or doing some editing. I mean, it's really the whole team here at Do The Woo deserves every bit of the award we got. My hosts, Abba, Brad, Carl, Dave, Jonathan, Kathy, Katie, Marcus, Robbie, Robert, Ronald, Tammy, and Zach are truly what drives our podcast with their personalities, with their knowledge, and just because they're cool people. And of course, our sponsors. I have to thank them because essentially you would not be hearing me, or maybe you would, but do the woo really wouldn't be where it's at because of our sponsors. So I'd like to thank them as well. Avalara A2 Hosting, GoDaddy Hostinger, Jetpack, and Weglot. Plus our newest sponsors who are going to be supporting us as we move forward and do even more amazing things, DotStore and OmniSend. So I want to thank them very much. And of course, our listeners, our guests, our guest hosts. Now, first of all, your vote was very much appreciated. And every time you tune in, I love you. But also, those that have been on the show, your story and voice is what brings life to each and every episode of Do the Woo. So thank you to all those people out there. Now, I'm almost done with my thanks, so hang in there. I, I've got to keep doing this. Huge amount of kudos to Brian and Woo Sesh. Now, I've known Brian for many, many years, and we're a couple of those OGs in the WordPress space, and Brian has been an absolute delight to work with in so many ways. Every year, this event gets more amazing, Woo Sesh, and he works tirelessly to bring us an amazing Woo experience, so a ton of gratitude for what he does for the community and also for bringing us in as a community partner for the last two years. So I'm looking forward to many more of those. And if you have a chance, do check out woosesh.com and note the sponsors who supported the event this year and give them a shout out. Special thanks to hosts Robert, Zach, Katie, Robbie, Marcus, and Kathy. They hosted the end of the day recaps at Woosesh. All three shows, despite the fact they dragged me in on one of them, was entertaining and insightful. In fact, you can expect to hear all three of them coming out soon in our feed here at Do The Woo, so keep your ears and eyes open. Well, I'm going to leave it at this. 
There's a few other things I could have thrown in, but I really wanted to focus on Woosesh because it has pretty much been a part of my life this last week in both attending, helping to support it, and just having a good time. So there is a lot coming your way around the bend here at Do The Woo. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And thanks to every one of you for being a part of this amazing community.